All right, just wanted to introduce a, a, a power meter here. Maybe many haven't seen before. This is something by KPO. Uh, this will be one of many that I'll have soon on my website. This one is a unique one because it pretty much covers everything from 1.6 to 525 megahertz. There is, a, as you can see, a toggle switch here. So when you're in the HF position, you have 1.6 to 60 megahertz, so essentially 160 meter all the way through 6 meter. It is a peak reading meter. You do have a toggle switch in the back. When you switch that off, the peak circuit is disengaged. When you switch it on, it says max. And it will read peak. Now this meter is special because when you have it in the UHF side, it will also give you accurate power measurements on DMR and TDMA, which uh, you guys that are a little smarter than me would know what that means, but uh, I think many that have amateur radio licenses would know what DMR is. You can use this to measure power on DMR as well. It will measure AM and SSB peak power, and if you want to use FM mode, you can just switch the max circuit off the peak circuit and just take a general reading. So there is another cool thing about this meter. If I were to show you guys the back, which I, it's a little hard for me to do right now because it's actually hooked up to this HF transceiver here. Um, it is dedicated female N. So you have N on input, N on output. On the, on the HF side, you have standard uh, female UHF. So your standard connectors will connect. Uh, for those that are concerned with loss characteristic, especially up on like GMRS and whatnot, the end connector on the meter would be beneficial to you because that's a much of a lower risk of loss using an end connector versus a PL259. I know some antennas actually have end connectors for UHF as well and GMRS, so um, that's something to keep in mind. Just going to demonstrate really quick the meter here. I'll, I'll switch this over to the HF mode because that's what we're in. We're going to put our uh, ICOM here into FM mode. And we're going to transmit here into a dummy load, which is off to the side. I'm not going into the one on the test bench here, different one. But there's our power, there's our reflection, and there's our SWR. So I'm using a little bit of a, a longer jumper going over to that dummy load. But that's a pretty good uh, measurement right there. So about 97, 98 watts there. So that's, uh, I would say that's more than accurate for what we're registering. We can look at the uh, radio here and see full power and uh, little to no SWR shown on the display. So now we're going to flick this into upper sideband and again I'm going to put the peak circuit on and we're going to talk into this microphone here and just take a quick peek at uh, how the peak circuit works. So we'll just start talking into the microphone, one, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, hello radio, hello radio. So it is a peak circuit and uh, it does hold for a short time when you're speaking. Um, not for very long, but long enough to definitely get a nice clear measurement. Nice large screen, it's about a 3.5 inch screen, so that's good for all viewing. Especially in a, a dark room, if you want to sit in the dark or something, you're going to be able to easily see this type of thing. So this is kind of normal for anyone that has like an HF transceiver. These are the ALC is a little aggressive on these, so you'll find that these have a super clean signal. So generally speaking, you don't usually see the full 100 out of one of these radios. It's not a big concern or anything. I mean, 85 watts is plenty of power. So, so that's a good demonstration there. Now keep in mind, this one has a power limitation of 200. Uh, many might say, well, that's not enough for like HF. But, you know, if, if you want a dual purpose meter, this works great. So if you're on VHF or UHF, you know, 200 watts is probably more than enough for what most would use. Uh, my IIC 9700 does about 100 watts on 2 meter, and I think it only does 50 on 70 centimeters. So um, I've tested both bands, and the power measurements are really accurate there as well, as well as on peak on 2 meter sideband. So um, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's going to be a good option for those that want kind of like an all-in-one. This is the DG. 503 max they also have a dg 103 max i believe is what it is if i if i reference the box here um i did sell a few of those in the past the 103 max is good from 1.6 to 60 megahertz and that one will handle up to 1200 watts so that one might be more for the the avid hf enthusiast that would want to run an amplifier and whatnot so you could definitely do that with that meter so uh, keep uh, a watch on my website. I'm going to add a new option on my website for SWR and power meters. I have a whole line of uh, KPO meters coming, all different types, small ones.
uh, analog ones with um, some peak circuitry and uh, a couple more like this. Um, as I can get them, they're going to slowly filter into my website. So the website, for those that don't know, is scottsradios.com, and I'll leave a link to that in the description. It'll probably be a short time before I get some of this stuff listed, but uh, within the next, uh, I'd say, couple weeks, I'll have some, some models coming in, and we'll get those listed up. Thanks for watching. If you like this one, I give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing, and there'll be more videos coming in the future. 7-3.